Angels 6 Rangers 0 Yes, the Angels destroyed the Rangers at the Big A on Friday night. Yes, Jamie Barrio was good once again, getting his fifth win in seven tries, as he gave up just four hits in six innings of work, while fanning six Texas batters. Yep, Ian Kinsler stayed hot with the lumber, driving in a couple runs, and yes sir, Mike Trout and Albert Pujols had two hits each and Andrelton Simmons continued to shred opposing pitching. Those are all awesome things that are enough to bring a smile to any Halos fan's face, especially after a gloomy road trip where the team went 4-6, concluding with losing a three-game series in Detroit. In the parlance of the poet Rick Ocasek, a win like we saw Friday night in Anaheim is just what we needed. Oh, and believe me, I personally enjoyed it and can't wait for Saturday evening's showdown, but if there's one thing that we should all talk about and discuss in depth as we look back on that 6-0 demolishing, it's just how limitless and boundless a scumbag is Rangers to be ruined Oder. I would call Oder a joke of an MLB player, except the joke implies some sort of benign loser or troll, and Oder is anything but benign when he's using his dirty tricks and villainous behavior to try and take out one of the game's very best players. For those that missed it, it was with one out, in the top of the ninth and with Texas staring down that 6-0 Angels lead, when Oder, who was on first, attempted to go to second base and break up a potential double play by sliding into the bag. Only, he didn't do some normal, non-scummy baseball slide, but instead he did what only Oder, or maybe other notable crap heads like Chase Utley, knows how to do, and that slide way outside of the bag, towards an in-motion Simmons, and even went so far as to try and spike the elite defender in the shin with his cleats. This of course ticked off Simmons something fierce, which then caused Oder to feign incredulity while also slowly allowing his temper to flare up more and more, to the point where both benches were cleared and a little team-to-team -team trash talking was done at midfield. Well, that's definitely one way to end a game, that's for sure. Oder kept on doing the, what? What did I do? I didn't do nothing, bro, gambit, which eventually turned into full-on, I want to fight someone now. Let me fight someone and that will prove that I didn't just pull some total heel bullshit, posturing. These types of dudes are always the same, and are so predictable in their crappy, half-baked defenses of all their horrible, vile behavior. Oder is no different, not at all, in fact, he's textbook MLB scumbag, at this point, and I feel like even Rangers fans, although perhaps scared to admit it out loud, must be tired of this guy's one-trick antics. That trick, by the way, is being pure garbage in human form. It makes his last name all the more suitable, don't you think? Simmons did indeed have a gash in his leg after the game, so his crash slide worked to some degree, though Simmons was undeterred by that Bush League-ish, and still got the throw into Albert Pujols at first, completing the double play and ending the game. Oder, who sports a minus 1.1 war right now and has been one of the worst batters in MLB the last two seasons running, must have an inferiority complex when it comes to infielders who are on a whole other plane. I've baseball existence when it comes to their levels of talent, and he thus thought to take that frustration in his own game out on Andrelton Simmons, one of the best damn players you'll see in the sport today. Classic hater, but Simmons has no time for such haters, and he can outplay dudes like Oder in his sleep, with two hands tied behind his back. Still, Oder needs to go. The Rangers have decided to embrace this putrid bad guy visage in recent seasons, or so it seems to this writer, and maybe they need to drop that tact and go back to just trying to almost win big playoff series. Oder will have his day, and get his comeuppance, and I just hope it's with the Halos players and fans around to witness. In the meantime, Andrelton Simmons will keep on playing like he's in a video game, and Oder will continue playing like a short, flash-in-the-pan, overpaid scumbag.